This video was recorded in front of a live virtual audience. Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my entire clutch collection. Okay, so um, I've been saying this since a couple of videos now, and since some time now, and I know I'm repeating myself, but mark my words, the clutch renaissance is here. From here on out, it's all about clutches. Why? Because of the lockdown situation, we've kind of... Many reasons, really. Sex and the City is coming back. You know that Carrie and all of the girls brought out the clutches in the 90s and early 2000s a lot. Now they're shooting season 7, so they're going to be clutches again. Pose was all about the clutches with Elektra having her clutches. And then this lockdown situation that has taken us to a point where I feel like we need more intimacy than ever with... We haven't been hugging people, touching people, loving people as much. So kind of being able to have a clutch and just hug it is amazing. It just feels different than just having a bag swinging off your shoulder because it has a chain. Now, before I get to the um, collection, thumb up this video if you're liking it thus far and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube if you haven't already and uh, be always informed about the newest videos that I post and I post them every day. So there's a lot to see. Don't miss out. Also, um, you can push the join button next to the subscription button, become a member today and gain access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon, Super Dick Balls Built Together over there on Patreon. You can become a patron and gain access to extra perks and special limited edition, limited edition videos. Uh, limited videos that only appear there, not on YouTube and so on and so forth. Thank you to all my patrons and members who have already pledged. And this video is being filmed live in front of a virtual audience. So thank you to all my co-chatters and co-reviewers. If you wish to also partake in the live filming of my videos, every Saturday I live stream on my channel. You can check my community tab. Towards the end of the week, I post the... Um, link to the live stream so you get to see your local streaming times tier 2 youtube members and patrons get access to exclusive pre-show live stream as well so if you want to be a part of the live show check it out it's every saturday you're all invited let's get straight to it so i showed you this one already right uh chanel so i'm gonna scroll quickly through them because there's a lot to cover here clutches 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 you hug them you love them that's basically my motto du jour. So we got a Chanel Timeless Classic slash 11.12 uh, Black Caviar Gold Hardware with back pocket clutch. You could check out the review of this one. Card section up above, also description box down below. I've also done an unboxing of this bag and an in-depth review. So check it out. Great bag. Now let's jump to another brand. Vivian Westwood. Now... This I use every day. In fact, it's full of my stuff, okay? So this is actual Jacob clutch. That I, this one I usually put in a bigger bag. So this one, first of all, adorable. I love this piece to bits. It is the Climate Change or Climate Revolution um, print. It is the Art Lovers Unite, by the way. Also the title of my uh, upcoming movie with Vivian Westwood. So we got Art Lovers Unite there. We got the Golden Orb in brass. And then we got the Map World with the Climate Change print and all of the uh, regions of the world that where the five degrees have been reached and where there's no going back. We are doomed if we don't change something about the climate. In cotton, made in Kenya with love. Uh, it is part of the fashion... Um, and my, hair, and my and it, this is a hair magnet because obviously I got a lot of hair so it kind of just sticks to it um, the fashion ethical fashion uh, project that Vivian is a part of made with love in Kenya by artisan fashion of the ethical fashion initiative so this is a vegan bag not that I'm vegan because obviously I just showed you a leather bag before but this is a vegan bag so hold on there you got the Vivian Westwood vegan little tag. We got the zipper pull with cotton and we got the little fringes on the side. This is just adorable. Um, 
And there's a little bit of a, I think this is my makeup. Yeah, I can clean this up. But anyway, so this goes very well just like that. I find it super chic, slightly punk, elegant. It can go with anything. It can go, you can be dressed up in a $30,000 gown and then wear this as well. And it just, it's, it's Westwood, you guys. This goes with everything. Um, now, on the inside, I got, you know, disinfectant spray, tissues, all that good stuff. But I also got a little tiny pochette, which goes into the clutch family. What do I wear? It's a clutch and a clutch, kind of. This is not necessarily a clutch clutch, but it is. You clutch onto it. Um, it's a Louis Vuitton. It is the 15 centimeter toiletry pouch which I have with me in my bag every day always so in here I have my little Chanel hand cream I got some uh, painkillers um, visine um, eye drops you know all the good stuff and Latoya Jackson always has one of these. She literally carries it always with her. So it's a very Latoya Jackson kind of thing. So this is the smallest of the three sizes that Louis Vuitton makes. So I do deem this a clutch in many ways because, I mean, Latoya just wears it around like a little clutch with her everywhere she goes. <laughs> you know how she laughs? She's adorable. So I put mine upside down in here. <laughs> and I just like to wear it like that, upside down. Just in case something gets wet on top, it doesn't drip on the vaquetta leather. So that was another one. And because I'm so obsessed with them, I have the biggest version, the 26, or 25 or 26 uh, Louis Vuitton. Um, now, funny that the smallest one was Latoya. The biggest one is Lady Diana because in the um, 80s slash 90s, Lady Diana was photographed often with this little beauty. Walking around like that. So yeah. You could call this a toiletry pouch, which it is, but it is often used as a clutch. And a lot of people carry it around the city as a clutch. I do too. Very practical, very light, super chic. Yeah, a little bit of a, you know, flex because it's full of the Louis Vuitton logo. But truth be told, though, it is so classic that I, to me, this, it, I don't know. A lot of people find this pattern, the monogram, cringe. I just love it to bits. So, yes, I do consider this a clutch. I know it's a toiletry pouch, but I never put toiletry stuff in here. In the tiniest one, I do. As you've seen, the cream and the visine and all that stuff. But in this one, I would put my sunglasses, my wallet, like everything, you know, passport, documents, whatever. This is like, this is the clutch that I, you know, used to go out. Usually in, in warmer months. So it has its own little dust bag. So you've seen another little um, Louis Vuitton piece from my collection. Okay, now the next one. I also use this a lot. This is an O case in reality, but it is a kind of a clutch and I just wanna, I think it's very symbolic, so I wanna show it to you guys. Because I got this uh, 2018 at the Cannes Film Festival, because I was there, um, pitching uh, my movie. <laughs> so they gave me this at uh, Marché du Film uh, at the Cannes Film Festival 2018. You got the little, every participant got it. So if you were a credit, if you had accreditation, it's a denim, dark denim. They got the little Marché du Film Cannes. Very simple. I'm not going to open it because I got a lot of documents in here. Uh, inherent to the movie and the contacts that I made at the film festival. So you see that little chubby thing. A lot of important stuff is in there. So it's just close to my heart. So I don't carry that around. It's like it was from the Cannes Film Festival. I got all the important documents inside of it that are connected to the movie. So it's a very symbolic thing, but I don't wear that one out and about. So in fact, it remains as a sort of an okay situation there, right? Now, moving on. Okay. I'm going to get to two uh, pieces. Or first, let me show you the first one. This here is a Vivian Westwood Too Fast to Live, Too Young to Die, Stop Climate Change, also made in Kenya uh, with the orb stitched on the side pouch with the cotton pull. Oops. This 
So this one is also made with the United Nations ethical, hold on. Made with Love in Kenya by ITC's Ethical Fashion Initiative of the United Nations. So this one I do use a lot on its own. At the moment I'm not using it, but when I do need something like this, I use this one a lot. It is cotton flexible. This is a squiggle pattern. This one also has a little stain, doesn't it? Right there, but I don't see, I only see it on camera with the overexposed lights. If I look at it, it's not there. Oh, I see what it is. It's the um, pressure point of the um, cotton, because if you press it too much, it gets this kind of shiny look. Oh, I stepped on something. Okay. So this is a drawn squiggle pattern, not the classic squiggle we're used to from Castel Bajac for Vivian Westwood, but it is nevertheless still considered a squiggle for Westwood standards. Super simple, and I do use it a lot. It is very practical. When I travel, I mostly use this when I travel, and I put it into bags and everywhere. Super practical. And dinners, soirees, if I go with colleagues or work or to the theater or whatever. whatever. It has a metal zipper pull, so it's very sturdy. This is super chic and kind of punky, so you kind of take this out, you know, on the town. Then we're moving on to Chanel. The 255 leather clutch, uh, which is the same size as the 1112 or the Timeless Classic clutch, black caviar gold hardware, black de-stressed calfskin and gold hardware. I love this one to bits. 255 is my holy grail bag, so you can imagine. Um, moving on, oh, I actually... There's even more stuff that I have from Vivian, which I forgot to take out of the archives. Well, let me just show you this one first. So this is the same size as this one. Put it back in its plastic protection. This is just really beautiful because it has a very thick poppy zipper pull. And then you got this Vivian, we see the Westwood spelled out in blue with again, the stitched orb at the bottom. Uh, and then you got this kind of leopardy or whatever, some feline type of print. But in the back, you got this zigzag squiggly kind of zebra meets tiger type of print as well. So it kind of just flips colors accordingly. And then it has this, I love this kind of just point of yellow. Now this one has a plastic zipper pull. And uh, on the inside, it's red on one side and beige on the other, obviously, because it's the same canvas. Also cotton, also made in Kenya. Also uh, ITC's Ethical Fashion Initiative of the United Nations. But just the zipper pull is to die for. Just love this. That's not gonna. It's like a thick, juicy zipper pull. So the other two, sh um, not Chanel, the other two Vivian Westwood clutches that I have are actually baguettes. They're like really long. One is in patent black leather with a huge golden orb. And the other one would be, that one was made in Italy. Uh, and it has a detachable chain. So yeah, it is a baguette clutch, but because it has a detachable chain, it's kind of not really a clutch. Well, if you can detach the chain, it does become a clutch, but you know what I mean? But it's like super long. And the other one is also relatively long. Uh, Vivian Westwood made in Africa. It's the punks clutch in cotton with all the beading, hand added beads to spell out punks. Um, that one is a clutch. It's a full blown clutch. It doesn't have any chain detachable or not. So, but I don't have them here with me right now. Doesn't matter. My words explained it to you. Now we're moving on to another little beauty here from Louis. Remember this one from like the beginnings of my channel <laughs> when we used to open this little toiletry pouch from Takashi Murakami and we would pull out um, questions for the Q&As on my channel. So that, that's what we used to do with this one many years ago. So it is now uh, archived but I have also worn it out and about as a clutch. I really like this, but it's just so precious and delicate and you know, so rare. I mean, it's, it's, it's a Takashi Murakami pattern with all of the beautiful colors. Um, 
on this toiletry pouch, the Takashi Murakami multicolor toiletry pouch. Cute, isn't it? There, now you get to see the colors a bit better, I guess. And the funny thing about it is, you know, each one of them has slightly different patterns and color. Not the pattern is always the same, but the color, the which color is positioned where on each one of them is slightly different. So each one of these little toiletry pouches or each one of any piece made uh, with the Takashi Murakami pattern is a unique piece because it has slightly different um, variations of the color scheme. So this one has its own little house. <laughs> And now moving on to, again, Vivian. Okay, so this one is very special. I love all of her Africa collection. Why? Because the Africa collections are, the Africa bags um, are so close to Vivian. This is the closest it gets to Vivian's vision of fashion and and punk you know this sort of i don't want to say sustainability but helping out a community developing new techniques growing together it, this is vivian westwood's core so this is very particular um it is the propaganda bag for those of you who know vivian westwood the propaganda bag is a huge bag it, it falls over you like a vest it's like a piece of it's like a garment but she also made a mini version, a mini propaganda bag to die for with Vivian's famous 80s uh, manhole print. So these are different manholes from different countries um, and different patterns of manholes um, added to this miniature propaganda bag as clutch. So when you fill it up, you actually wear it like this. You clutch it. So it's a clutch. But very much like the Fendi baguettes that we know from Sex in the City, you can also put it like this. Look how interesting. Um, it kind of falls right here. So you actually wear it as, as a garment or as a vest of sorts. And just like the big propaganda bags from Vivian, by big, I mean, we're talking huge, okay? They fall, like, they cover your whole body. That's how big they are. They're beautiful bags, also in cotton. Um, just like the propaganda bags have two pockets, the little clutch, uh, propaganda clutch bag also has two pockets. So right here at, at, at the chest area, you got this access pocket here, tiny little pocket. It only, your hand only goes in up to here. It has this beautiful cotton lining inside recycled from shirts <laughs> so you got this little pocket for money coins documents or what have you and then you got this bigger running all around here zipper pull that opens up this gorgeous look at the lining inside with these beautiful lines and patterns you got this huge pocket here which you can put whatever you want in there, right? You got this little leather pull and you got the golden or in brass, but golden Vivian Westwood orb. And of course we got the famous Vivian Westwood print, who are our rulers? And who are our rulers positioned, where is it here? Positioned on the manholes as a question. <laughs> Vivian always questions authority, which is good, as you should. Moving on to the next. Chanel, right after the punk Vivian, we go to the most consumer-oriented, like the most, I don't know, the opposite. Both luxurious, but in many different ways. But I love, I love the clash. Um, we got a Chanel cruise, a Greek cruise collection clutch in yellow leather. This one is enormous. You can open it up, it doubles up, it has a pocket here, and then it has this entire section is its own bag, accessible through this zipper pull here. I have reviewed this one on my channel. Uh, link to the review of this beautiful, gorgeous sunshine bag, card section up above, but also description box down below. I will post a link to both the unboxing of this bag and the video 
that reviews this bag. Moving on to the next. I'm trying to rush through this as quick as I can. Here's a huge piece that unfortunately in this size has been discontinued. I don't think you can get it anymore at Louis Vuitton, but it is the Poche Document. So it is, I mean, is this a clutch? Mm, pochette, clutch? I don't know, it's a Poche Document. I mean, it's a document pouch. Okay, with an, it's not an L, it's actually a U zip because it goes all, all the way around, it doesn't stop there. It kind of does two curves, two turns, and in this size, in this big size, they have discontinued it. Uh, now they make, well, they used to then make it much smaller. I don't know what they do now. Maybe they brought it back. I don't think they have it anymore. And um, when they reduced the size of this one, so they discontinued it. Then they brought it back again smaller. When they brought it back again smaller, the interior was not made in leather, but in uh, microfiber type of material. But this one is still the old school version with the lining in leather. So we got the monogram canvas on the outside and we got the leather lining on the inside. This one is made in France. Actually, maybe I can zoom it in. There you go. So this one, I mean, I, when I go to business meetings, I kind of, you know, wear this one, it's kind of like this chic, like, hey, you know, like, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but I rarely use this to kind of put documents in it. I, I use it as a clutch. I put my wallet, my sunglasses. This fits a ton. This fits whatever you want it to fit, girl. Whatever you want it to fit, this fits. It's a wonderful, wonderful piece. And it's such a statement piece. And again, I know it's a flex because a lot of people think, oh my God, cringe, Louis Vuitton monogram logo. But as I said before, to me, this logo is just like, not the double C, but the kilting, or the quilting of uh, the matelassé. So it's kind of, this is such a symbol of Chanel. This is a symbol of Louis. So they're both classics to me. So the LV pattern is like the quilting. I mean, I know that it is an L and a V and you think a oh, logo, but to me, it's more of um something very classic as tacky as it may sound and plus i love the brown on brown the ton sur ton is just mm, delicious so yeah this is a for my standards <laughs> i clutch it when i go out so i call it a clutch even though you know what i mean it's a push document so it's a slightly different concept oh and um hold on let me but this, this is so funny. I have actually Chanel um, tissue paper inside of a Louis Vuitton bag because why not? You know that Louis Vuitton made the Alma bag for Coco Chanel or so it is said. So what does that mean? It means that, you know, they all know each other, friends or for frenemies in a way, right? So Louis Vuitton, the house of Louis Vuitton made the Alma bag for Coco Chanel. Um, hold on, why is this? Uh, so they're all kind of connected. So why not? Oh, for crying out loud, go back into your pouch. The bag is like, no, I'm not going to, I don't want to, I don't want to use me, use me. Nah, not now. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta go back to your beauty sleep because we gotta show some more stuff. So actually, uh, we are almost at the end of our journey. Are we? Yes, we are. One more beautiful piece to show you. And this is the Chanel clutch slash minaudière, which is the Chanel music tape from the Prêt-à-Porter Spring Summer 2004 collection. Was it a 2005 or 2004? I think it's 2004. In resin, black resin with a little chain. I mean, what more do you want? Madonna wore this to the Grammys back in 2004 slash 2005. She was all dressed in pink. She was still together with Guy Ritchie. Does anybody even know who she is anymore? This is sad but true. New generation doesn't even know who Madonna is anymore. Um, there you have it. You open it up like this. Super simple. With a little... There, this little thing. You push it open. And that's it. 
the symbol of desire in my case and my collector's heart is the Chanel music tape clutch slash minaudier. So guys, that would be my clutch collection. Two pieces are missing, but I explained them to you from Vivian Westwood. Um, I hope you've enjoyed my collection. Let me read a couple of your comments before we wrap it up. Uh, Holy Grace says, oh my God, love it. Collector's piece. The best save for last is Audrey and <laughs> the music tape. Yeah. And Darla says, hello, folks. This clutch tour is so much fun. Thank you, Darla. Yeah, I love our clutches. Mark my words. The clutches are coming in. Thumb up this video. If you're liking it, you guys, thumb up the video. Show it some love. Let the YouTube algorithm know where it's at. Jacob, my 255 clutch, says MK, is actually Chanel's take on your Louis Vuitton part document. Um, the proportions are identical, but Chanel added two additional pockets, card slots, and a wrist chain. Yes, I know that one. I saw it in the in the boutique the other week. Holy Grace says, old school Louis Vuitton is the only way. I completely agree with you, Holy Grace. My thought exactly. Uh, Jin Kat says, oh my God, Jacob, I went to Chanel for the first time ever. So excited. Congratulations, Jin Kat. Glad you went. Um... Melly says, oh, never seen this before. The surprises of the fashion bunker are endless. I'm telling you guys, it's like it never ends. <laughs> oh, the Murakami clutch. Yeah. Holy Grace says, Murakami classic. Murakami is our classic. We love Takashi. Let it rock, says Melly. Uh, Debbie says, yes, the Murakami miss her. Well, Murakami had a little appearance today. It's been a couple of years. Um... I like how pop, youthful, and colorful uh, her design looks. Very fresh, says MK. About the Murakami. Yeah, totally. Holy Grace asks, why do I like Westwood? Why would you ask that? What is not to, not like, what is not to love about Vivian Westwood? She's just the last living designer legend, activist, you know, she's a teacher as well. I have worked with her. I've shot a movie with her. I know her personally. Uh, she's an inspiring human being. She elevates. She educates. She's a poet. She's an artist. Um, she wants to help others. She wants to make the world a better place. She coined the whole terminology of buy less, choose well, make it last. Now I'm going against that here because like there's a bunch of bags, like who, who needs all of these bags? I'm a bad example of buy less, choose well, make it last. Guilty as charged. But it's amazing. She goes into the system. From within the system, she battles the system. She's a designer. You, you might say, like, oh, that's a double, like, standard. So what? Like, you're a designer. You want people to buy your stuff. And then you say, no. But she's like, yeah. How else am I going to change the system? From within. She boycotts her own brand. Incredible human being. But this is not a video about her. So, But I could talk about her for uh, days. Jacob, I love all of your Vivian clutches. If I were 20 years younger, I would definitely be a Vivian boy, says MK. Oh, MK, Vivian, it, it's where it's at. It's where it's at. And these gorgeous, oh, mm -mm, mm -mm. especially the Made in Africa bags that she does. Oof, they're so raw. They're, they're, they're amazing. Uh, Preachase... Sufarangzan, welcome to the chat. Uh, my first time to see live. Welcome, welcome, sweetie, welcome. And uh, I love your, I love your channel. Thank you. I learned and know more of my favorite Chanel brand from you. You are the best. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Preche. MK says, um, conversely, the Louis Vuitton toiletry pouch looks like a traditional men's Yakuza Chinese triad mafia. Mafia Chief Clutch. It reminds me of my dad and grandpa generation. That's kind of kinky. <laughs> I love the Louis Vuitton toiletry pouches, says Letty. Yeah, they're amazing. They're like so simple, but so to the point. Effortless classic. Plus the, the mini one, I use it since many, many years. They just hold up very well. They don't fall apart. They just don't break. They're very, very, very robust and resistant. MK says, the Vivian Clutch looks like a toiletry pouch, but it looks so pop quintessentially, Jacob. Thank you so much. Yeah, I love it to bits. Um, 
Love a good Vivian Westwood, says Mr. Philip Fabulous. We always do. We always do. And um, Daniel, hello, Daniel. Uh, oh, go Vivian, says Aisha. Inspiring, says Melly. And Daniel says, I am old enough to remember the dawn of the punk era. I hated it at the time. I really hated it passionately. Yet now I see the point of it. Punk was of its time. Not for me, but I now get it. It takes time to understand that grungy aesthetic. Just like Akira yeah, says, kind of grungy. I like Vivian Westwood. <laughs> Vivian is one of the creators of grunge in a way not just punk i mean vivian created everything in the 80s you guys we don't even because she doesn't want to take most of the time she doesn't want to you know take the uh, um, credit for things but because she's humble in many ways in many other ways she's not but a lot of what we wear today and how we wear it today is, is thanks to her and she's gonna silently take it to her grave she's not gonna scream in your face i did it first she an elegant lady just saying thank you guys thumb up this video if you liked it i think i want a westwood bag i'm looking now oh holy grace i'm telling you vivian westwood is where it's at it's just so raw she's amazing she's an incredible human being too artist hello robert welcome to the chat vivian with a big heart thank you guys so much for watching thumb up this video subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram facebook twitter super Deco, all spelled together push the join button become a member today join the fashion bunker family join me on patreon super Deco, all spelled together and get access to extra perks as a member and a patron and a super chatter in the live if you uh, donate to the fashion bunker your name scrolls in the end credits Oh, I lifted this thing. <laughs> this, by the way, where is it? <laughs> that little thing is part of my chair that I have to pull down, which I forgot to pull down, so sorry for that. So become a member and a patron and support the Fashion Bunker today. Without you, the Fashion Bunker wouldn't be here. So thank you guys so much for that. And your name is scrolling as co-producer of the Fashion Bunker in the end credits. At the end of every video, subscribe to my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Super Deco All Spilled Together, and follow me also on my Chanel dedicated Instagram profiles. One is called Coco Chanel is in my house, dedicated to my Chanel collection. You get to see stuff like this. <laughs> or you can follow me on my Coco Chanel Privé, All Spilled Together, Instagram profile dedicated to the life of Coco Chanel. Now, I am obsessed with with pouches I, I always have been clutches pouches baguettes but pochettes um and yeah i um i always have been always will be finally got to making a video about it because now i feel the time is ripe and ready for an awakening the renaissance of the clutch and i'm telling you because of also this lockdown we kind of got used to more like hugging being closer to, to stuff we love and nothing more than a clutch to express that need and that yearning for 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 closeness for warmth for safety for a cuddle uh, no, nothing like a clutch to 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 give you that that feeling of being fulfilled you can't hug a bag on a chain really because the chain is in the way but the clutch it's a it's a pillow i see every clutch like a pillow like a comforting soothing pillow that protects your chest as well, your heart and every, and your soul in many ways. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, never forget to never give up on love. Love you all. See you soon. Take care. Bye. Mwah.